Let's see if we can get shit on this one, maybe. All I have to do is, is just record. Okay, fuck.
What up, Riffin6? How's it going? <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good. Just trying to stay stay inspired and productive. Amidst all this stuff going on. But yeah. Solid.
Bye. Do you like it so far?
Could be totally overkill, but. Redheader, what up? Has been a minute, man. How you doing? That's a cool sound. 
Hey, Caleb, what's up? Damn, the whole squad's coming back. Here we go. See if we can get this sounding cool. I feel like sonically it would fit in as like a lead. And I'm gonna like process all this shit. I just wanna get it, get like a core idea down, of course. Makes the most sense to me, I think. But I feel like it should really, I only like it for certain parts. One sec. something cool out of this.
like the like drums a lot and stuff. I'm I'm not. I think I can change the key of this to make it work. thing.
<laughs> oh shit, there she is. <laughs> I just need to like fix some of the notes. A little bit all over the place. Kind of hard, it sounds kind of like dumb. It's that first vocal, that's what it is. Let's see if we can get that. Fuck, I can't, I can't, one sec, I'm fucking with my ears. And the timing of the, the lead, the brum 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 could be adjusted as well. Okay, that's it. We're actually getting some more.
I just sang a little melody layer, I just want to email to myself. Where are you at? Oh. What? There it is. Oh my god. Why don't I just use this mic, but then it fucks up because I'm streaming at the same time. That is so aggravating. I forgot that that happens. I seriously have to convert this. Oh my god. Oh, my posture is freaking horrendous. Very, very, very bad. Just converting this shit real quick, sorry y'all. Okay. We have a MP3. There we go. Freaking Windows. A hefty ass freaking chain. Hopefully, we don't crash. Oh, 
That's kind of hard. <laughs> that one sounds fucked though. <laughs> Holy fuck, that sounds fat. I like that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
No, not that one. A good vocalist on this would be super sick. Like some hype shit. <laughs> section here. Oh, shit, didn't even use. How is this project already so fucking big? Okay, and let's not have, let's have different bass come in here. Let's like make it super, super vibey. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
fucked up. Okay, something's fucked. Okay, let's just resample that. song in Italy? Just please. I like one like once I have a strong element just like this lead <laughs> I can make the whole song around that. So now just like composing different parts and doing different shit. Okay, do You wanna stay out of this dream, bud? Do I ever want to download a new version? No.
I'm quiet as fuck. Like my voice. Oh, it was probably because I was like looking the other direction. <laughs> Am I still quiet as fuck or no? <laughs> This is gonna go somewhere dope. <laughs> God, Kit, what the fuck? That was savage. Vince, stop being a dick to Kit. Dangerous. be so sick to
Damn, you could have a wild swing on that. Like flipping the melody around too for the drum and bass part. <laughs> Chat is slow tonight. What the fuck y'all doing? I just literally have nothing quantized in this entire project, but I kind of fuck with the vibe. All your rhythm. What's Featherbed Sessions? Is that a Netflix thing? I feel like I just saw that on Netflix. <laughs>
guys fuck with like the giving out stems and everyone making beats and sending them in still and kind of like i just want to i don't really want to do like the microman cypher thing anymore but or maybe we can do like a, a new type of like cypher thing um where it doesn't have to be like a banger or like a microman track it can just kind of be um i'll just give out stems we all just make stuff and and listen to it like one day a week or something I think that'd be a cool exercise for me. And then like also something that would be dope um, that has to do with that would be kind of subs and su subscribers kind of have access to, I'm trying to make it so there's basically like permanent access to all the videos I do. Um, right now, I think even when I, ha I have Twitch Turbo, it's only like 60 or 90 days it holds the videos for or something. But if you are a subscriber, you can see all the videos I've done within that time frame. Um, and I also want there to be like access to, to certain rewards. Cause I, when I was Twitch streaming like a year and a half ago, um, we were giving out like tons of, that was like the main reason people would subscribe was like, cause we'd give out samples and Ableton projects. There'd be like a tier one, tier two, tier three subscription thing. And I do like, are you guys interested in that? It's hard because it's just a really hard thing to manage. And I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do it is because if when new people subscribe every month, it's like hard for me to keep track of like I'm rocking a micro game, motherfucker. Hey, what up, T fellas? That's what I like to see. Thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Fuck yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out a good way to for me because we've been trying to figure this out for a while, and people would sub, and then for a whole month there wouldn't be much content, and then at the originally though I gave out a shitload, so I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to do it is. I think small batches of stuff would be best. Like even just like 10 samples, like f a few kicks, snares, maybe some melodies and stuff, just stuff like that, that I like, that I've made. Um, I don't know, I just don't, I don't wanna do the whole sub tier shit. But it's also, I also really just do wanna hear what you guys want, cause I'm down to do whatever. I just need to talk to some other people who do it to see what the best way to do it is. Cause, oh no, this is the tough part. If someone unsubscribes and if we, ha if I'm posting all the stuff that people get to access in a subscriber discord and then someone doesn't keep subscribing, someone has to then remove them from the subscriber discord to make sure that they don't get the future rewards. So it's just this, I'm trying to come up, I mean, Patreon, I guess, would be a a decent way. And I set up a Patreon, but I haven't, like, done anything with it yet. Because I really just wish Twitch had, like, a... Oh, if Twitch comes out with a kind of a tier system like Patreon, but it's more... Like, they have the sub-tiers, but you should be able to attach more whatever you want to it. Um, or they should have a system to send it out to your subs for you. That's like the crucial part of it. And that's what Patreon does, but there's no way to do that on Twitch. Like, I don't have a list of all my subs' emails. I don't, if, if I had that, I could each month take a snapshot of all the current subs' emails and send them all the sub rewards for that month. But I don't even think there's a way to do that. And if anyone knows, feel free to correct me. because <laughs> like i'm i think what my like i'm big into sound design and like i'm making sounds all the time when it comes at when it comes to me as a producer and my strength and shit like that so that's something i want to like give to you guys
Yeah, and I'm gonna, I can expand on that melody and some other stuff. I really like the core of this idea so far, though. Probably the favorite one I've made on stream in a little bit. I did actually fully quit vaping, yeah. Fatty Cloud Rob is dead. <laughs> I, he is dead. Buried deep, deep beneath the earth. The super fucked fail, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's mainly just uh, like the placement of it gives it the, the effect because I think it's just an unprocessed sample. <laughs> Is that the one you're talking about? But it's like, there's this. Sorry, that's a little bit ear piercing. So there's those two layers, and then I think there's a few other layers too. There's this thing. Like the vocal thing cutting off and then that snare coming in and then the bass stopping, I think is what gives it. Yeah, it's just cut, cutting a range. I'm glad you dig it. I, I like that part too. I like how the vocal sounds like it's getting like sucked up into it and just obliterated. Like here some like background harmony synths could come in I think. And then... Fast hats, yeah, yeah. It's like super halftime feel right now. What were you, you were thinking? Just like 16th hats or some shit? Or like, or like. the best sounds right there That's all you need I wish you guys could hear my cat meowing but it's like getting cut off by the gate The, the bass in my pack right now is completely slacking. That's one of the. the I need to put, get some good bass shit for it.
like streams? Well, you came to the right place. This stream I like. Oh, I haven't saved. I'm calling this masterpiece. Pew, pew, pew. people are learning anyone who's any producer who's smart is watching twitch streams for sure because i don't know i think every like producer is it, so many producers are streaming right now it's like a chance to see people's workflows and process that wasn't really available before what are these drums again these drums are actually just drums. I I search my all results on on Ableton. I just searched my samples and I just found some that I thought sounded good. This one is I can play just the drums. <laughs> <laughs> All those uh, emotes are fire. But yeah, the drums are just like a bunch of audio chops, random samples. <laughs> It's like Doom. What emote is is even that from? Well, hello there, stranger. 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 That was no particular accent on that one. <laughs> Dude, that Carmack one is unreal, I will say. <laughs> I don't even think that's in key or anything, but fuck it.
the new uh, the lead synth lead synth is made of pure uh, I couldn't think of something clever to say <laughs> so I found this sample and then I pitched it down for no warping actually and then it was it was at 155 bpm so pitch down four changes the tempo a bit and then i warped it and pitched and made an upper octave one but then gluing it together is this trash stereoizer with some serum effects so without the first off the original sample just sounds like this with no effects <laughs> with the effects Sorry about that. I want for this track.
how's Rage and Oshi doing? Uh, they're, I think Oshi's uh, back in London at home, and he's working on, I don't know, honestly, I think he's work, he's about to release some stuff. And then Rage is also back home uh, in Missouri, though. And they're both good, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm still in LA right now. <sighs> still in LA, indeed. Or even right now, <laughs> um, I don't know. There's there's a few different leads in both those tracks, but I'll def I'll definitely do more um, track breakdowns. That's for sure. Because I there's two up. If you're a subscriber, you can see I I ran through burner and I ran through reset as well. Um, so yeah, the reset breakdown is up there. what I like to see. Was it because I told you you could watch the reset breakdown? Uh, thank you for the sub, Yash. I appreciate that very much. That's kind of hard. Ooh. 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 That's like hard in the weirdest way. Five a month to learn some sick stuff. I agree, man. It is worth it. I agree.
some good riffs to fuck around and make some cool sounds. I would say hop on Ableton and manipulate audio because that's like 90% of what I do and what all the producers that I personally look up to pretty much do. Even like, I swear, even if they have a synth like VST that, like a VST or a recording of something, unless you know how to like fuck it up in audio, it's just not gonna sound nearly as tight as it could. Unless you're going for that like clean recorded vibe, but like, I don't know. Resampling to audio and chopping and like manipulating everything makes it sound so much like cleaner and polished. But um, beats mode, I, beats mode is cool for sure if you're going for like a rhythmic type of fuck around. But if you're trying to like texture is also really cool for drum sounds, like for snare layers. If you if you pitch it a few and put texture on, or just put texture on and then stretch it, change the tempo. Um, you can get some really cool effects and layers with that. Um, and then the texture on drums combined with like distorting and glitching chords and like granulating chords and fills and stuff like that, the rhythmic side of that can get really cool. Just be careful because it can sound, it could sound really bad. Like I'm talking like for like a layer. So like you, you still need your core like drum punch and then maybe for like a background layer you could do that. <laughs> Also, another thing I would suggest is using, is very much utilizing your samples over here and not typing anything in. Literally just like listen through and just be really conscious of like the sounds you're picking sonically really have to like go, like the chord I just put in there, regardless of whether you think this chord fits musically with what I'm doing or arrangement wise, I think anyone could agree that like sonically, it fits in the mix perfectly or it like it really works with the song now whether whether it works again arrangement wise or melodically or what notes it's playing is a little bit different but it's sound it really just fits right in <laughs> and, I, and i did nothing to it literally nothing so it's like finding those little gems um, and just picking the right samples from your from your big collection you have is really helpful. And then also just knowing how to like having like a, a handful of ways just right off top to uh, come up with to alter like a loops to make them either unique or kind of like inspirational to you really helpful and can get some really cool sounds like even taking like a take a friggin like medicine loop or any or a producer carmack loop take carmack's most popular like chorus charge remix and just like manipulate it so much that you don't even can't even tell that you started with that and a lot of the time you actually can come up with some really crazy cool sounding stuff and it really teaches you the power of like Ableton's sampler and like sample choice and stuff like that. the sample I started with for the lead what the no 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 that was a different I swear I like oh I forgot that it was even a thing <laughs> yes yeah, see I started with that oh shit dear evergreen thank you for the raid I appreciate that that's super tight. 
Ableton user. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've just, I just uh, started this at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> that, I, my thing lately has just been making intros that literally make no sense at all. fucking developing this even further. I don't know. I don't know how much more it can take, but let's see. Crash. There we go. Melodic? Yeah, yeah. I agree. Fucking this shit up. I'm trying to keep it non cluttered. <laughs> Pitch bendy lead, yeah, that would be cool. Good thing I just got the, the sober lead out.
uh, halftime. Okay, one second, I need to lay a baseline down. <laughs> That's very random. <laughs> And sounds fire. Okay, I feel like I need to not have the lead in to make an effective different part here. I honestly, and I know that vocal fill that I sang was like, is a little, is not perfectly in pitch, but I actually like that. Maybe I want a little bit. We'll see. You work on type beats for a friend and come back to this for it. Fuck yeah. I'm glad you like it. Okay, like some fatty, fatty chords need to come in there.
<laughs> Big doinks. Yeah, I mean, Triumph, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm kind of the last person that has a say in that. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I just, there's, I w I, I'd love for that. I mean, even now, if we went back and all worked on that, I think it could be so sick. <laughs> I just realized it sounds kind of similar to the burner hat, like hat snare thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you just scared the poop out of me. What? What song? Word, well, sick, sick, that was fire. Were you guys just watching that and that happened? That's wild. Yeah, I know. I, I was freaking watched it on here, Shelly. <laughs> it was crazy. What up, alien goatee? <laughs> Fire, fire, pants on fire.
Or yeah, I'm probably gonna call the stream for today, but I'm gonna be streaming like a lot more often. I know I keep I'm I just wanna stop saying it and just do it so we just get to it. But I'm stoked on making this idea. This was for those of you who came in recently, this idea was like totally all made today. <clears throat> I just started it um a couple hours ago. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I might do tomorrow. I might take a day off. Um, but I'm, I'm really trying to get on, like, streaming as much as I possibly can, like, almost every day. I think that would be dope. And I'm, I feel a lot more comfortable with it, and it's, it's not as big of a deal. It used to be kind of like a, a lot of energy, but I don't know. I'm just, like, it helps me stay focused and stay on task and actually execute and build ideas as well, which is cool. Or Bauer was saying on his stream earlier, it's like very motivational. Okay, word y'all, I'm out. I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow or Sunday. Um, and if you, I think I need to fix the night bot because we have a discord. And if you don't, if you haven't joined the discord, shit, yeah, I don't think it works at all. Come back next stream. Um, and I'll hit you with that. Or I'll, I'll have the Discord shit fixed. Um, who should we raid? Okay. Uh, let's raid Carter. Do you guys know how I, how I raid? I don't even know how I do this. Do I type, I type raid in mine, right? <laughs> I did this before and I was like, I had no idea what to do. Raid and then at Carter. Does anyone know how I do this? Do I just do Raid Carter? I feel like it's not going to work. <laughs> First, let your, know let your knowers view. <laughs> Okay, type raid followed by the name of the channel that you want to raid. So just slash raid and then Carter. Here we go. 